What's going on YouTube? Today I'm wearing my Ash hat because I need a haircut so, so, so bad that I gotta hide it. I am getting one tomorrow. I gotta get that fresh cut. It's been a while. So hopefully we can get that done. But today, I'm gonna be doing MLG SD class setups. I'm gonna be going over a lot of classes. I have about 15 to 20, maybe about 15 to 20 SD classes. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. I wanna be the very best. Okay, no jokes, no jokes. So, we're going to start off with a basic ASM1 class. Now, one thing you're going to be noticing is I have flag jacket in almost every single SMD class. Literally. Now, the huge reason behind that is because, one, when I get stunned, I don't flinch. So, that's a really good thing. And also, if I get naded, I don't flinch. On top of everything, getting first blood in SMD is one of the worst things possible. So, unless I'm hitting something, I'll use lightweight. But for the most part, the passive play, uh, no matter what I'm usually pushing out, especially with a bow, uh, you know, I, I'm rocking flag jacket. Flag jacket, like I said, on top of getting first blood is one of the biggest things. So if they try to nade me and I have flag jacket, I'm 98% not getting naded because I've gotten naded with flag jacket on before without them having danger close. So this is going to be the main thing you guys will be seeing. But let's start off with this class. I'll try to go over every single class as fast as I can because it's a lot of classes. So I got the flag jacket. I got fast hands because fast hands is a really good perk too to have in SD. And, you know, with the double nades, it's, it's a must, and with, especially with Mute Device. So this is my kind of camping a bomb site, playing a live kind of class. And it's really useful in the close quarter situation. Next, so I got my bow class, flag jacket, like I said, you know, basic fast hands. Instead of having Mute Device, I have Trophy and double nades as well. Uh, this is more of my stay alive as well class and push something out or try to get first blood. Uh, especially when I'm pushing a bomb site, trophy is almost a must. At least one of your teammates should be rocking trophy because it's so so beneficial. So next we got another ball class. You guys are gonna see kind of similar classes, but that's how it is. That's how SD your SD classes should be set up because you need a lot of different classes in SD. So now it's almost the same thing as my last bow, but instead I'm gonna be having two stuns and a mute device. I like this class more to stay live, play sneaky, and go for picks. You know, if I'm getting rushed by like three people, I can stun them. And you know, so I could get the kill. It's easier to get a kill when they're stunned. Stuns are OP'd. And and then again, I got a mute device to push out a bomber, be a little bit more sneakier. I got flag jacket, like I said, really important. Another flag jacket. You guys are gonna see almost every class I have flag jacket for the most part. So I got the same exact class, just with a trophy. This is my stun trophy push out class. So we're pushing a bomb instead of having nades for with this class. Instead, I'm gonna be having a trophy and throwing stuns and basically with my flag jacket to stay alive on top of the trophy because whether they break the trophy, whether I get hit by stun afterwards and I flinch, you know, I'm capable of getting getting the kill. Next, this is a really good class that Aqua showed me. Aqua actually helped me a lot out with a lot of these classes uh, around Gfinity time because we kind of struggled in SD and and I took a lot of his advice because, you know, he's really good in SD. So this is the class he showed me. This class is amazing. It's a really, really, really good class. As you guys see, I won't have lightweight. Uh, this is a type of class to push out a bomb site as well. You have cold blooded for the people who are still using thermo, thermo snipers, thermo LMGs. You know that's still allowed for the most part. Just pro players aren't using aren't using it. But you know, there's some people who just use sniper without the overkill. So I got the cold blooded to help. I got fast hands because it's good. Uh, you know, it's for the fast movement, the fat, the reload if I have to run, the take out my knife to activate trophy fast, throw my stun fast. If they're coming at me, boom, stun them right in my face and so I'll gun them. So it's a really good push class with the trophy and the stun. It's really effective. This is one of my favorite classes that he's ever shown me. Next, I got my basic mute device overclock push class. You know, this is me just rushing to a certain area to get power power of it and just, you know, control it and then push it out or something or just baby flank right away. This is a really good class, class of flank and stuff like that. Next, this is also not a good class for no overkill snipers. Now, this is the class he basically showed me. I have variable zoom because a lot of people lately have been using cold-blooded and well when you play pros you know not people with overkill but a lot of people use cold blooded so variable zoom with stock is amazing stock on the moors is crazy good you guys gotta try it out it's really good then i got fast hands cold blooded cold blood like i said especially if you're sniping other snipers you know you you can see him with the variable zoom there's no you know it's hard to see him on top of that they can barely see you so you have a chance of winning then i have a mute device to make a play uh, you can use the trophy if you're uh, rushing a power spot, but I have mute because, you know, it, I need to have some sort of advantage when I'm pushing out a bomb or something. Like, I need, like, if, I, if they can hear me and I have a pistol, like, I'm most likely dead, right? So, I got a PDW just with extended mags. This helps make my class a lot better. Some people like double attachments, but this class is so good like this, especially with the stun. So, you know, if somebody's rushing me, you guys know how 
power like overpower stuns are. So if some guy's rushing me, I can just stun him, piss him to death. It's really simple. Next, we're almost done, guys. Next is my lightweight flak jacket mute device. So this is basically almost like my same class from the start. Instead, I have I took off fast hands and I added lightweight. I like this class for you know the other class is more like stay alive, play sneaky, play slow. This is more like push up a little bit, be, be a little bit more aggressive with the lightweight and just getting bomb control or something like that. Next, I got another battle class. Like I said, I have a lot of classes. I got mute device with two frags. So the other class you guys saw before earlier was just it would stand with trophy. Now it's a mute device. Um, you know, same thing. You know, it's really good to get first blood. I can sneak around with the mute. I can maybe nade someone. And on top of that, I can't really die by nades. And if I get stunned or something, I won't flinch. So it helps me win the gunfight. So next is the same thing. This in replace. I got lightweight, cold blooded. This class, I like it because if I'm pushing out, let's say a solo area by myself, maybe on right, I'm pushing out the B bomb. Yeah, the B bomb, which is the the left side. And you know, they have a guy played there. Maybe he has a sniper. So I get to play one on one him with him. You know, I activate my mute device. I got cold blooded on, and I just push up. You know, pre him and hopefully get the kill. It's hard for him to see me. But this class I like is to push out basically, be sneakier, and hopefully get a first blood. Now, this is the, I believe it's the same class. Yeah, it's the same exact class you guys saw earlier. This is a really sick sniper uh, class, especially, well, what, overkill not allowed. And, you know, and the only thing is I have thermal. I have two of them just in case, you know, you gotta always be sure. Next, this is an overkill class I have, which is the same concept because this is a really good class, like I've said, like I mentioned. But check it out, guys. Instead of having the ASM1 as the first thing, I've also took this from Aqua. I got the the thermal and stock, and then let's have an ASM1 with grip. You know, this is a really, 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 really good overkill class. Um, you know, a lot of pros aren't using overkill anymore. Some of you guys might be using it, especially in SD tourneys, and I really recommend this class. You know, you have everything you ever need. You have cold blooded, you have mute device, you have fast hands on top of it with the cold blooded, you have a Moors with stock, which is really good, and you have an ASM1 with quick draw, which it's, it's just for a close range gunfight like you don't you don't really need 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 the other two attachments So it's still really effective, and it's just a really good class now These are my last classes I'm gonna go really quick because I don't want to take too much of your time But I have five IMRs just for the people who use IMRs and overkill and shit when I'm playing these SD tourneys So this is a really good overkill Sorry, this is a really good IMR class, you know I'm trying to copy shit this is a really good uh, IMR class just because you don't really need red dot iron sights is just as good as long as you have a good shot. Then I have stock, quick draw, the basics. I got flag jacket, like I said, I can't die pretty much from nades. And I got fast hats and cold blooded, so like, you know, cold blooded OP. Then I have mute device and a stun, so I have like so many things going on in that right side. And on top of the IMR being OP'd, I can just rock two attachments and just, it works really well. Next, I got red dot, IMR. And similar things, uh, I believe the only thing is no cold blooded and a red dot and extra stun. Yeah, pretty much in replace of that. Uh, you know, if, if I'm not feeling the, if they're not sniping, there's no point of cold blooded, and if they're not using thermal LMGs, so I can just rock this class. I like the red dot, and I get another stun, which stuns are really overpowered. And they, the thing is, people find it. I feel like underrated in SND. Only SND stars know how good it is, but in SND, a lot of people mainly rock nades, stuff like that. But stuns are so helpful when pushing out a bomb. You have like six stuns, and you you can usually push out that bomb really easy. So I got the same class, the only difference is a trophy, <clears throat> excuse me, this is like I said, a uh, basic, you know, push out push out a bomb or rushing a bomb, you know, got a trophy to help my teammates out and just pre-aim in front of me, stun in front of me, so it's a really good effective class, it's really hard to use their projectiles to kill us, they basically have to outgun us or shoot us back to get a kill, not some first blood needs crap. Next, I got my another IMR, overkill, stock, thermo, as you guys can see, the only difference is I don't have lightweight or cold blooded, but... You know, this is a really good class. Uh, you guys can use the, the other classes like I've done before. Like this this class right now. Well, wrong one. This overkill class is really good. But for this class, I like having these attachments. And, you know, I, I want to have two attachments on the IMR. So this works pretty well. You know, fits pretty well in, in everything. Some people don't like having stock maybe on the sniper. I really like it. I think it's really good, especially when it comes to camera glitching. So what you can do is take off stock and then add maybe lightweight and a stun, something like that. You know, it, it works really well. But I really like thermal and stock, so it's really, because I think it's really effective. So I like this class. And then for my last, last class, you got to have a shotgun class, man. Especially you're playing SD stars or SD tourneys and they pull it out, man. I, I'm not letting them get, get away with it. I did it once and we lost finals due to that. It was a small tournament. But either way, 
Uh, basic, it's almost the same thing, just like I said. Uh, instead of having two attachments on my secondary, I only have one, and then I add the stun and lightweight. You know, I want to be a little bit faster with the shotgun, that's why I have the lightweight, and then I have a stun because, like I said, stuns are OP'd. So I know I took a lot of your time, I try to talk and go as fast as possible, but it's a lot of classes, and I really wanted to break it down, you know, explain it pretty well so you guys get the understanding of it and see how good it is. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys who've been watching, who've been watching my videos. I love you guys. I know I've been wearing this hat this whole video. I'm not, I'm not Ash. Where am I? But don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a like.